bring you a nice coaching session with Panda today uh, on, I guess, on how not to fuck up the mid game. Yeah. So let's dive right into it. So are you trying to get the sword or not? You're trying to get the armor, I hope, kind of. Yeah. But from a mm -hmm. weird angle, but nobody wanted it, so that's. Cool. I, I, I think I was probably. I think I was typing to you at the beginning of this game. Um, okay. So you all see that the Ezreal just gets like auto placed and stuff. Like that's, you know, it's not like fine. I'm. A... That's completely fine. <laughs> As long as you start, yeah, as long as you start playing, okay. Um, yeah, good, we saw that. We're playing the Darius pair because that's the strongest opener. So, like, if we get a lot of gold, we can sell to 10. I like that. So far, so good. Cool. And also, I want to, I want to wait it towards, uh, towards Bodyguard, uh, just in case. I'm obviously going to make shift here because the other two forced me into something, and I'm like, okay, high roll game, let's go. Um, uh, like, right now, uh, snipers are in a really good spot, and you already have a okay. Tristana, so you have a Tristana pair. I think yeah. makeshift is, like, the fact that you're going for bodyguards, it might not be that amazing. Mm -hmm. So I think it's close, but it's, it's like, very specific. I still think makeshift is probably better, since it's more flexible. Yeah. But yeah. the fact is, uh... Snipers are really, really powerful now. Just, just okay. keep that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. I try to go for the flexible ones yeah. always when I'm not sure about comps. So. Okay, so here I hope you realize that was a mistake, right? Was it? What did you need to do? Start to get... anything? Um, I guess I could have. I guess I could have um like played a pair first, and then when uh when, like. During the round, I could have bought the next thing, depending on what I got. Of course! Because now you have to sell yeah. Tristana, but why sell Tristana? Like, you, you should you should get some gold here. Yeah. Right? And now you bought more shit! Like, it's gonna get pulled in. So now if you get 10 gold... Like, if you get 8 gold, you can't make 10. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, and yeah. there's, like, no need to even buy this shit, so, like, at least wait. Like, yeah. sell the Tristana, and wait. Or play, uh, like, a pair. Yeah, I think I got excited by seeing like, oh, double two yeah. stars. Um, you're right, yeah. Uh, only I mean, it, okay, it's probably not gonna happen, but if it does happen, yeah, like that could have yeah. been that could have been five gold, <coughs> and then you'd be then you would be at nine instead of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like when it does happen, it just it just a little tilting. Like, what the hell? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? What the fuck? What is the strongest unit you can always sprinkle? That I can always sprinkle? Like that you can always I mean, add. I like Camille. Mazahar! Like, where's your dad? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Do you have a good tank? Yes. And I mean, an Ezreal 2 is still going to be useful in, in the uh, early game, right? Like, like, he's still going to do enough damage in stage what two. What are you going to play? Wouldn't it just be good enough to play the Darius with Mazahar as well? Like, you, you make you make Bramble Vest, so Darius is going to be a beast. And then yeah. you play Mazahar to slowly kill shit. Okay. Like, I think we discussed Talon being one of the best two costs to add, right? Yeah. So, Mazahar is the same thing, but stronger. Okay. So like always add a random Mazhar. I think if you if All you right, want so Mal, any... Mal's and Tyan, Mal's and Tal, I'd say are the best two kind of like standalone damage units. Yeah, I would say so. All right. Like, what does he do? He once he casts, his dot is always guaranteed to like do the full damage, and then spread. Yeah. So it's like really really good, and it's really good specifically yeah, okay. if you're going for for tanky frontline, because how long is the fight gonna last? I think the fight's gonna last a long time. So Mazahar would be able to cast like once or twice. Okay, and I guess it makes sense because the damage over time is going to be very strong in the in the early game um, when the fights last a, a long time too. Exactly. So yeah. Like, okay, makes sense. Here, if you just played the Mazahar with the Darius, having like putting Bramblevas on on Darius, I think you would win very easily. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh... What is Darius' ability? Uh, yeah, I should have put the I should have put the Camille's back so he targets more exactly. uh, more people. Like now, yeah. it's just like you're blocking 
your strongest unit and you're not letting it do its damage. Yeah. Because, like, the Camille's get surrounded now. Imagine all those three units stuck around Darius. Like, now he has mm -hmm. two. Okay, now, look. Yeah, look at that. He just destroys everything with one ulti. But you almost grief that. And what I mm -hmm. don't understand here is why are you playing double Camille instead of playing the Trundle with both? I, like... I just bought... I, I, I just bought the trundle from the shop. I didn't have the trundle before. Yeah, but... I mean... I, I, I bought the trundle when I made two gold. Or I guess maybe not. Or no, that was the trundle from before. I could have sold. Before, yeah, yeah, never mind. You're right. And you don't need right. the S. You don't need the extra yeah. S. So like... Here, another thing. Like, you don't even need to level. Like, you just play... Yeah. You either play the Malzahar or you play the trundle and you put the bow on Ezreal and you're super strong. Mm -hmm. So that's like... I yeah, think I, think, I think I probably didn't see it. Yeah. I think that's like another thing. Like, yes, you want to be like you want to level and be even stronger. Hmm. But here, you're so damn strong that like you don't even need to level. You can just greet Econ. Got it. Because okay. like the two, like what do the two Camus actually do, right? Yeah. They yeah. don't do that much. Okay. So I hope you play the Trundle now. With Vi, ideally. There we go. Nice, nice. And you're moving everything. And I, 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 yeah, I know. I, I now had like, you know, speed of thinking ain't one of my uh, strong points. Yeah, but there I'm we go. Scout, I'm scouting for Blood's Cranks um, to check if I can corner Ezreal, and I think I still could there. Very smart. Well done. So, like, yeah, early game, yeah. pretty on point. Yeah, definitely. I'm ty I type in, I type in chat uh, yeah. to show my uh, my thought processes throughout. Definitely agree here. I'm thinking about the vibe, but then I remember what you were saying the other day about like not having, um, not keeping two costs, not keeping two cost pairs. <laughs> um, four, so. five, six, seven, eight, ten. So yeah. you, you can hold the vibe and make ten. I don't know what I end up doing here. What the fuck? <laughs> I, so, I comment. I comment on this. I comment on this. <laughs> <laughs> what is the comment? Y yeah. But why are you getting weaker? I because I wanted to make ten gold, but I didn't want to sell. I guess my whole bunch because I was greedy. But okay, can we can we do some math together? So yeah, yeah selling everything except four, the buy gets me six, to, the, seven, to ten. Eight, yeah. nine, ten. Strongest board still, and you're at ten. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're lucky you're playing this guy who has a garb Oh no, no, no. I, I like I guess I like the innovator opener too oh, much, yeah. Oh fuck. But you, okay. So if you already have a stronger opener, don't yeah. go back to innovator. So because, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't I didn't necessarily know that the cuz I thought that three innovator, two clocker, I mean, I knew I made my board weaker for this round, but I what I didn't know was that the bruiser scrap opener was still stronger than the innovator opener. But you already have the two star Darius as well. So like you're never yeah. taking out the Darius. Mm -hmm. And then the buy pair. Okay, so sorry. Like if there was confusion, buy is actually a tank, right? You don't want mm -hmm. two star Zyra. You don't want two star Zillion. Like you don't mind the two star tank because there's good use out of the tank. Okay, so you don't you you you're still fine with holding um, two. star two cost pairs in stage two if they're tanks like why would you play like okay so if we look at two costs like okay would you play a two star two star blitz blitz crank yeah play, play it for sure but then i was just thinking because of the the early odds of getting two costs so anyway yeah yeah two star blitz crank. Said the comment. yeah two star blitz crank is gonna yeah. tank for ages yeah great tank two star katarina only if you have a strong front line, because otherwise she just gets turned on. Only if you actually have an item for her. If she's just like, if you're playing, if you have Twitch, like if you have Twitch items, then no. Mm -hmm. If you have an item for Katarina, then of course. If you have an IE, then you play two-star Katarina. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if you're just a support unit, you don't really care that much. Uh, two-star Kogma. If you have items for Rem, I guess. It's almost always no. Why is it almost always no? Why is it almost always no? Does the ability not like scale enough with? Nope, it's eight percent all with... the time. Oh, so what? What grows then? Just his AD and health. Yeah. What? what... Okay. Okay. He, so he one, has one star Kogma. AD. Kogma has extremely yeah. AD. Okay. So like you don't want to start Kogma. Lulu. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, because she she ults two targets, right? Yeah, like that actually can make a difference. And how do you play yeah. Star Lulu? What do you mean? How, uh, what do you? What, how do you play her? Two. Uh, like if you have a Yordles opener? No, like, what do you do with her on the board? Uh, put her next to the carry, either as bait for a Blitzcrank. Like two if she's oh, two line. Front line. Oh, okay, all right. Right, because if she's two star, you front line her. Mm -hmm. Quinn. No, I mean Quinn's just utility. Yeah. Quinn's utility, just the. Like, yes, the damage goes up. This time goes up, but like, it's too much. Yeah. Swain. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's tank. He's a tank. Exactly. Talon. Uh, I think, yes, even without without items, he's going to do so much damage. Yeah. And, like, if he's two-star, he's going to do even more. He's very reliable. The bleed is very reliable. So, yes. Yeah. The one you want. Tristana? Uh, I think, yes. She she can, like, if she has the right items anyways, if it's she have items, items for her, then she can so carry you playing... into, like, stage three. Yeah, if you're playing Caitlyn and Tristana, then like, yes, you two-star her if you can put some items on her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's like Trundle and Vi, which are frontline, so obviously you want them two-star. Mm -hmm. Then there's Warwick. So Warwick, if you're playing Warwick with Warwick items, yes. If you're just playing him for synergies, then no. Like yeah. with, with Camille. With with Camille... Um, like you can have Camille, Singed, and Lissandra, for example. Mm-hmm. So then it's like Warwick is, but like you don't really need to star Warwick. But I mean, at that that point, it's probably stage three, as so you can two star him. And Zyra? Mm -hmm. Oh, Zyra Zillion? Uh, no, they're just bots. Yeah. They're just synergy, uh, synergy and stun bots. Yeah. And okay, and so corner if bait. you if you two star Zillion, for example, you can frontline him. Mm hmm. With Zyra, it's kind of like possibly you can frontline her, but it's like if you're gonna invest six gold into a unit this early. You, mm -hmm. you you like need to think about like okay I have six gold in this unit like I should probably frontline them. Mm -hmm. So frontline them make and sure they get their cast off and you know then you use their HP for something. Yeah, exactly because they have a lot of HP if they're two star two star who costs you, you yeah. should have a decent amount of HP yeah mm -hmm. and then three three costs you almost never want a two star on stage two. Yeah. Because it's just too much gold. Like even if you're gonna play the three costs later, like it's and, and the odds, odds are so and the odds are so low. Like yeah, no, just selling mean, even it. Even if you then... get them in the shop, like if you have a Heimer and you hit two more Heimers, like you mm -hmm. really have to think like, do I wanna spend six gold and not hit like twenty or anything? Like Yeah. 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 So that that's kind of Yeah, that, that, one, that one I remember. Yeah. yeah. So okay. but here, like the buy like this is like you had buy pair, you had trundle for for mm -hmm. scrap, and it's just like it looked really good before. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that was stronger. I uh, I, re I really like the Innovator Clockwork opener, so I just I guess I defaulted to it too hard. It's a good opener unless you don't have it. Like, I would say bodyguards are like number one, and then bruisers number two, and then uh, yeah, moral is fine, and then number three is innovators. Because like th then the, the issue. Oh wait, you have okay, so you do have innovator. Okay, my bad. You do have the innovator. Okay, 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 okay. But then who does Morello go on? Wait, what? You went belt for Morello. What? You don't have a rod. Okay, wait, let's go back. Yeah, I mean, it's half, half of a Morello. I don't, like, I didn't have a... Yeah. Slash more tank items. I mean, it wasn't... I, I did have the choice to go for a rod, but sh should I maybe have gone for a rod? I didn't get a rod yet. I didn't, also didn't get a belt yet from from um, PvE, so... I'm still thinking armor. Don't you want, like, a like a GA or a shroud or something like that? Or I guess, but I mean, I already, I already took two. Play? I already took an armor from, um, from the earlier carousel. So I guess I would to like kind of spread it out. And I know I for sure want a Morello, so I don't know. That's so I want for belt. Okay, okay. I'm just like I'm just thinking like armor is just higher value. Because mm. like again, with with armor you can do more things. If with the belt you're looking for mm -hmm. Morello or Warbox or possibly Redemption. Yeah. But like armor, you can make a GA, you can make a Stoneblade, you can make a Shroud, you can even make a Frozen Heart. So we level, sure, that's good, that's good. I guess we put the the belt on Darius or Camille, or yeah. we... But yeah, I'm just going to keep slamming items on Darius because I know I'm going to sell him later anyways. So. But do we need to do that right now? Uh, to put the belt on him? I mean, I think I'm fine with it because even if I get a rod later, 
I think I do get end up getting Rod later, but like I, I can put a Morello on Darius. He applies it to a lot of people, and he's gonna spin forever because he's gonna survive forever. So I, I was sort of like, no matter what, like even if I'm gonna slam Morello, I'm gonna slam it on Darius. So that's what I was thinking. What I, was I don't hinting, know if it's right, but that's what, what I was thinking. What I was hinting at is like you can keep the belt uh -huh. and slam it when you need a drink during combat. Oh, okay. Because if I'm on a win streak, it's worth it. Yeah, because like you can always put the belt on Darius, but maybe sometimes okay. like sometime you might need it on Camille. Okay. Like, maybe she's the first one getting killed, and you put it on her so she stays alive, and then you definitely like secure a win. Yeah. So I'm not saying like it's bad on Darius. I would probably end up putting yeah. it on Darius as well, but just like keeping the belt option open. Okay. Is PF not better than than Tarek? Um, I don't think I end up keeping either, but yeah, and what, what would I have done with the TF2? Like, should I have just been holding the TF2 and then um, Hold not the holding bench. the Tarek? You can, you can play it on, like, level 6, right? Instead of Tarek. Yeah, definitely destroy this guy. Yeah, so but I mean, the, in, terms of lo in terms of lobby strength, it's like, well, I mean, this is, like, kind of... Yeah, sorry, go on. Just, like, holding the... Two star TF is better than the whole one star, one star Tarek. Okay. Because, like, next level, what is the strongest board next level? Um, Leona, you're probably adding a, a bodyguard, right? It's either Leona if you have Leona, or it's a TF. Mm -hmm. Or it's a two star TF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you, yep. already, you already know you're gonna fuck it up. That's nice. There you go. And there's a Leona. I mean, I, I, and, I, know, I know my strengths and weaknesses. So there's a Leona. So, like, like, now you're probably gonna sell the Tarek anyway, and, like, you would have sold the TF by just, like. Yeah, well, I'll see if I have gold. Yeah. yeah. But it's in terms of what to hold and, like, you know, what can possibly make my board stronger. Um, I, I would so say the, the two star, star TF. Yeah, and, like, why do you think I would like two star TF here for this board specifically? Uh. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I mean, it gets me to two syndicate, but I don't think that's the answer that you're looking for. No, 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 not two syndicate. I'm looking at Arcanist from anything. I mean, I could put in um, Ziggs for scrap, and then I can have scrap Arcanist. No, you're overthinking it. I just want something on level six. <laughs> and the answer's right on the screen right now. Just uh, it's a it's a Morello holder, like a Morello slam on TF, because that's a. Uh, uh, sure. I mean, if you're going for the Morello, then yes. But it's like. I don't know what else. <laughs> I don't know what else. You're doing a lot of physical damage. Oh, okay, so just to spread out the damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So by, by adding a TF, you had your bench. Mm -hmm. Like if you go against bodyguards, you're gonna you're gonna have a bad mm -hmm. time. But if you mm -hmm. have a TF, then TF can help you take care of bodyguards. Okay. Obviously here. Yeah, it's tough, like, selling the, the Singed pair or keeping the TF. Yeah, I guess probably here you would keep the Singed pair instead of the TF, because you already have the owner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who else can hold Morello? Yes, I guess it's fine. So I hope we're leveling here for Leona, right? I'm looking at the lobbies and I'm thinking about it. Okay. So I just typed that. Okay. If you say so. I mean, but like, don't worry, you would level play the Leona in the back so she would like aggro the assassins and just, yeah. But I mean, yeah, so this yeah. is the right play. Like, if you can't get away with being greedy with your economy, then of course yeah. you be greedy with your economy. Yeah. So I, I, was, I was at least looking at the lobby, so I was like, I was kind of proud of that play because I was like, okay, do I have to level here? I don't want to lose my win streak. So I did look at the lobbies, but I'm like, oh, but they're weak, but it's probably just because I'm plot. Yeah. Um, but at least I checked. Sorry, yeah, this is this is relatively fine. You have decent enough front line that you don't need to play Leona. I'm looking for Blitzcranks again for cornering. So like right now you're definitely playing way above like I would say even definitely even above diamond, so like <laughs> So let's just uh yeah. bring my late game from from bronze level to like <laughs> maybe flat and then I can go with my like high diamond openers and my yeah. bronze. So then again, I just go for the for the flexible thing, and I'm like, hey, cool, more items, and I can slam things. That's nice. 
I didn't, I mean, I don't know, like, Broken Stopwatch. I guess if I had gone Snipers early and then Broken Stopwatch here, then it would have been, like, a clear gin I mean, game, but, like, I didn't here, want the challenge request. Stopwatch. Okay, but, yeah, okay, this is Salvage, but it's not bad. I don't know, like, Broken Stopwatch. I like Salvage, man. I, li I, like, so I like, like, in the last carousel, still yeah. being able to go, like, huh, I need another belt. Ah, there's a belt. Okay, because the thing about... If I don't about, forget about it. The thing about Broken Stopwatch, and, like, <laughs> your position right here, like, you can almost guaranteed go... Reasonably fast eight and hit a two star gin. Mm -hmm. And then with broken stopwatch, gin is like S plus plus tier. Yeah. It's like maybe. I guess like, I'm worried of trying to force something without like having like the carry yet. Mm -hmm. like okay. You have a sword already, so you have a giant slayer, right? You have a giant okay. slayer, which is really good on gin. And you can you can just start getting more swords and or gloves or bows or aim for that on carousels if you can. Okay, so basically, you don't need to always be flexible. Like if you if you have a strong opener, um, like you already have, then you like, can start to like force. You already have a zillion. You already have a Camille. So like maybe yeah, you yeah. Do something crazy like go for clockwork, which you never go with Jin. But in the case of of uh, Smoker Stopwatch, you could go for clockwork. Mm -hmm. And just like play a little bit of a different comp, but like abuse the fact that you have broken stopwatch. That you're like your Oriana's gonna like I mean, in the end you, you probably sell the Jin and Camille anyway and you just play Oriana with Jin. But it's like Oriana's gonna cast and Jin's gonna cast guaranteed while mm -hmm. the rest of the board is AFK. For five seconds. Mm -hmm. Like for five seconds okay. your Jin and Oriana are just shitting on everybody. That that seems like so broken. And you have Morello. Yeah. So by the way, Oriana can apply Morello relatively quickly. Okay. Yeah. Like not no, like she yeah, because she's, because she, she, well, she's, not quickly, but she, she she's guaranteed to do it because yeah, not sometimes yeah, she yeah. just dies before casting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that, that's that's good ways to think about it. Okay. Um, yeah. I guess I just I was just scared of forcing again because I'm like oh like but yeah you're right like I had a good opener for it and I was just uh, I should have probably committed. Yeah. And sorry, it's four seconds not five. Yeah. It's five seconds into combat for four seconds. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Very nice. And I'm like, well, I can slam whatever I want. Uh, just thinking about it, I'm like, okay, double Merlo. But then I realized the Merlo would pop off, and I was like, okay, I can do the Merlo anyways, and then I can put something else on him if I want. Okay, so you're doing double Merlo because you want to. Okay, you're going to break them. Okay, okay, okay. This is like right next level. Yeah. You do double Merlo because you're going to break out of the Merlos, right? Yeah, I mean, or I know that I can. Like, I, I don't think I need two Merlos, but then I know that I can break the Merlos. I don't remember what I do later, though. <laughs> you know, don't so, why does the and I'm thinking. Go? Um, I, I put it in Ezreal, I think. I was gonna oh, make a crit thing, that? and then I realized that I couldn't. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, actually, uh, that last crit was better than crit and last anyway, so... So much better than crit. So much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I realized, but I was kind of, I realized that after the, after the thing broke, and I was like, wait, actually, this is, I'm dumb, like, this is better anyways. Yeah. Good, good, good. Still want your Darius more surrounded? With, especially with Bramble and these items? It's yeah. like Singe didn't get uh, Morello from, from Darius applied. But like, you're so, so, so strong. So like, how do you drop the ball here? I know, right? Like, this is why I'm so excited. Yeah, exactly. Now. <laughs> then this is why I start to panic. Anything. I'm like, okay, I'm strong. You can yeah. do anything. Yeah, I mean, theor theor theoretically, yeah. But, but then, uh, yeah, no, then... But so I'm like, all right, something with AD. Yeah. Jin angle. Jin angle, Akali angle, Yone, Urgot, uh, Fiora, like... I'm, I'm looking to see if I have to force a level. I'm like, okay, fuck it, like, yeah, the... Yeah, why not? Apply pressure. I, 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 know, I, I, know, I know I didn't need to, um, because the lobby's still, like, really weak, but, like, I'm like, okay, like, in any other situation, I would have to level by now, so let's just pretend and then level. Yeah. Because I know I'm so strong, and plus then I can be aggressive at least, so... Like, you, yeah. you guarantee you do more damage to them, it doesn't cost you that much econ, so, like, yeah, you're destroying these guys. That's what it should be, like, you're you're smurfing in Platinum with with the knowledge of at least a Diamond player, I hope, but, yeah. Like, you're scouting. Like, nobody does that in Platinum, I think. Or very few people do in Platinum, maybe some people do, but... I don't know, from the amount of Zephyrs that hit me, then probably, I feel like some people do do it. Well, maybe at the end they do it, but... Yeah. Um... That's another thing. Like I can, I scout throughout the whole game. Like it's good to scout. I do. I stop scouting but... later. I, saw, I actually stop scouting later because I'm like, um, because then I'm just like I'm panicking and I don't know what else to do. And then I tap out for something, I guess. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I, oh, I remember. I tab, I tabbed out to check the comps because I remembered your comments about my comp knowledge being lacking. And I'm like, all right, let's look up what the Urgot comp actually has oh, in it, no. so I don't fuck this up. Like, okay, please learn the comps before so you don't return the game. <laughs> but like, I like just having the window open, then I know for sure like okay. what what's in it. I mean, it's like, it's not that I don't know out. anything at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than Jin, but like, doesn't matter. Yeah, and I don't, I don't. Um, because I'm, I had such a strong early game, I can hold whatever on the bench, so... Yeah, oh my god, I don't, I don't even... <laughs> yeah, but how is this not a first? It's... I know, right? I know, right? Like, that's, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so pumped to see me, to see myself fuck everything up. Okay, I don't know why you're over-leveling and dropping... Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I fucked that up. I think I comment on it, I'm like, I, I don't know, I was and on why autopilot. why are you playing over Leona? Good point! Yeah, good point. I don't know. Isn't a two um, seconds yeah, better than or like one point five seconds yes, stun yes. better than Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Um Then I almost like lose from that, but I think I end up like but it's close now. I still win because like these lobbies are very weak, but yeah. Yeah, but like I shouldn't I shouldn't be depending on that. Why are we rolling? I don't want to lose just, just play the Seraphim. Over Leona. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Seraphim over, over Leona. Over Leona. Oh, then... oh my god. Play. You had five Innovator. <laughs> you just put in Jace. Oh. Yeah, no, I didn't even see that at all because I was busy thinking my pivot. Like, I did not see five Innovator angle. But it's Damn, like... I love Innovators. Like, why did I not see that angle? Fuck. And, like, and I could have pulled better. over the Ziggs, too. Yeah, yeah, you could like move the Ziggs or move the something or like Ziggs or Leona, whatever. Yeah, no, I was I was looking for my carry. I'm like, okay, Jin or Urgot, Jin or Urgot, and I didn't. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. But that's that's not now. That's later. You, you just play for now. Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, play for now first. And yeah. Later, later. Yeah. So like, like that over Ziggs, like she she applies Morella way better. And like, I don't think you need to like leveling here. Whatever you find Jace. So like here, you should be holding Seraphine for sure. Like. Yeah. I don't understand why you, like, spend so much gold. Uh, wait, what, like, yeah, you win here, and then you just spend gold on levels, which you're forbidden to do, right? It's a complete waste of gold. Instead of, like, like selling the, the Tarek, buying the Seraphine, and keeping this shit. Like, what does the golden XP do? It does nothing. Please, please. Okay. Please, don't just, like... And then you even sell the Brom, and you don't even buy the Seraphine, and you just, like, buy more XP yeah. for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean, that. I, yeah, I, I that's that one I knew. Like, <laughs> that one I knew I, I fucking autopiloted it. Like, you would have had the first Seraphine already. By the way, Seraphine mm -hmm. is way better than fucking Singed. I don't know why you're playing Singed 1 instead of Seraphine 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, there's no yeah. synergies anyway, so, like, Seraphine gives you Socialite and is a 4 cost compared to a 1 cost 1 star. That's yeah, well, I mean, the Socialite of... Hex is the Socialite Hex was in a dumb place, but then, like, the singed one, like, come on, like, I don't know. Yeah, and know. then you get, you high roll the Jace, so it's, like, 5 Innovator, Fast 9. That, that yeah. was, like, the plan here from 100 HP. Fast 9 mm -hmm. is extremely troll, you should do it very, very rarely, but if you're playing 5 Innovator with Jace and Seraphine, like, you hold the singe on the bench and just, yeah. By the way, mm -hmm. what do you think about putting these items on Jace? Um, backline Jace carry? Yeah, well, yeah uh, I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So now you I was thinking Jace this. tank. But, like, why? You have enough mm -hmm. other random shit for frontline. Like, you have the Leona and the Braum, and you have the. You have the. Yeah. You should have the Bear. And you have mm -hmm. the Camille. Mm hmm. Yeah. So then you just kind of. Yeah, then you're like. Yeah. You don't even have to pivot. That's a, that's a, like you're thinking about pivoting into Urgot, but you don't even have to pivot. You can just play Jace like backline Chase instead of like. So like I think that the main thing we discussed, especially like looking at Solas games, always choose the simplest option. Mm -hmm. And the simplest option here is play five Innovator and just try to two star my Chase and two star Seraphine. Mm -hmm. Isn't mm -hmm. it better than like pivoting into Urgot, which actually requires yeah, like, I don't, I don't, like brain power? I don't and, know like, why. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, I, which I don't have. 
Like, you can fuck it, like, you can fuck it up, so, like, unfortunately, in your case, it's likely you will. So, oh, yeah. like, just stick with what you have. What do you mean, it's likely that I will? <laughs> I end up, like, I end up leading so many rounds. Of I'm course I did. Nice, like, um, like, yeah. You shouldn't fuck I it up. I guess I was, I, like, I, yeah. I, I was trying to think of, like, two options at a time, so I was thinking, okay, Jin or Urgot, and then, like, I couldn't, I didn't have the brain cell available. <laughs> the remaining brain cell was not available to think about like, five innovators. I, I just tunneled too much. and I got a Jace, like... Jace is kind of like the higher role of innovator. You got a Jace on seven. Yeah. That's like ding, ding, ding. I won. I won the game. And it's just like no, I'm, I'm planning on pivoting Urgot or Jin. Don't give me any other high roll. Like yeah, that's the thing. Like the game, <laughs> the game gives you an amazing high roll, and you're just like um, I focus on something else. And it that's the main issue. Like I think I, I think I thought that well. I, I, the one time I rolled a. Uh... Is it a, a Victor two, like in the same shop? Yeah. And I tried to pivot everything to that, and then everything fucked up. And then I think that, like, that may Wait, have a uh... Victor two is complete garbage. She's the worst. Fire okay. Because you like with yeah, well, items, he doesn't do anything. Jinx, which, yeah, aside from Jinx, which now I also learned is a terrible five cost. Yeah, Jinx is also garbage. Jinx is a four cost. I mean, Victor and Jinx are both yeah. kind of like four costs. Because Lux yeah. is better than than Victor most of the time. Victor, yeah. And like Oriana, unless your is... unless your fights last for bridges. Yeah, and Orianna is like better than uh, Jinx because Orianna just shoots a ball that hits a clump, mm -hmm. kind of like Jinx, but she doesn't suicide with the clump with the, with the ball. Well, Jinx has to suicide it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now I'm now I'm panicking because I know I need to do something for augment, or else I'm gonna get like uh, troll augments for the last one. But you could have just played the innovators, and you would have. I could have. I, 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 I could have. And that would have been amazing. No. Yep. Yep. I could have. I uh, I, I you still could have. Dragon. Like Puff the Magic Dragon? You, you don't like the Puff the Magic Dragon? <laughs> I love it, but I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't. I'm so surprised I didn't see the whole innovator thing. I mean, it's not terrible. Akali, 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 oh, Akali again, Akali again. Strongest five cost in yeah, the game. But... Akali, strongest five cost in the game. <laughs> yeah, have... but it's not the thing I was looking for, so you I have... obviously miss it. You have GA. You have GA. Death Cap. I E. Best in Sword Akali. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, all these missed opportunities. Like, yeah, that's the best in sauce, because, like, GA gets her to, to revive, IE means she yeah. crits, and you just need one, like, Echo or ideally, um, Shaco, and then Death Cab just gives her a lot more damage. Best in sauce, Like, how, how, how do I not get, I mean, I don't know, I guess it, it probably comes kind of naturally to you, but, like, how do I not get dizzy when I'm, like, looking for all these opportunities? Like, I see, if I see the, the innovator angle, if I see the the Akali, like at what point do I know that I should pivot into like the random five cost that I found? Tier like list. I guess it's because of the item. Tier list. Hmm? Make a fucking tier list. You gotta make it. Like how do you want to improve without having your own internal tier hmm. list? So like without knowing. Okay. Like, but it's like you have to do that. Like I can do it kind of for you, but that's my tier list. And like you should know yourself. Like um, okay, Akali right now is the strongest five cost. Uh -huh. And like the best build on her is probably like if you can if you can like you can greet for the best build because you have because you have the Pandora's yeah item. salvage salvage sorry mm -hmm. salvage yeah so yeah. like this Akali is like the best unit in the game right now that's the best by far uh -huh. the best then it's like close between the other ones but like I think backline Jace with like the items you had. Or like you can go like uh, Rage Blade, IE, last week. Or like fuck it, even like IE, because he he gets damage, he gets attack speed. So like the, the thing you had with like the BT wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Or like yeah, or like a uh, Rage Blade for example. So he ramps up. Because okay, so what does backline chase get? Do you know what, what how he works? He uh, make he makes the entire row do more attack speed. But like what what happens? Yeah, more attack speed, and what happens for him? Uh, play. like every every third like every third of his shots is like an empowered like AOE yeah strong thing. Uh huh. But why do you want IE and Ju and Last Whisper on him? Uh, does his um I'm not sh I mean I'm just thinking because like he attacks so often that like he's gonna shred resistances anyways, and I guess his thing does on hits. He gets the the balls. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then that then crit scale as well because it, it amplifies the yeah. increased damage already. So okay. You want attack speed? He gets attack speed and attack damage. That's why mm -hmm. crit is really good on him. 
and then ideally you would want uh like a giant sight or something else but you have like yeah so you, you'd have the ie last whisper and then like yeah some some other item yeah bt is acceptable something if you get like another sword death death blade is still okay a giant sword would be fucking amazing yeah so like yeah the backline jace option especially like if you're like why pivot into ergot if you can pivot into backline jace you can still you can play yeah. invaders with backline jace you can play bruises with backline jace like backline jace is a beast he does a lot of damage mm -hmm. so it's like okay so no okay sorry let's go back to it like akali i would say strongest jace really freaking strong so what do you think is like the next best mm. is kaisa still any good like i guess yeah. if you have kaisa items for her she's still good yeah if you have like yeah. If you have GA, Archangels, and either like yeah. a Morello. Morellos. Or, but like you have GA, Deathcap, and. Hmm. I guess GA, Deathcap, and you don't even have Rage. You, oh, you do have Rage Blade. Yeah, you break that apart, you have Rage Blade. So, like, mm -hmm. here you can go Kaisa as well with this, for example. So she, like, at least scales her attack speed, so she casts more. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of like. Jinx, but Jinx is kind of troll, but like... Really? Uh, I like, I like, uh, Yumi and, well, Tom Kent, if you find Tom Kent early, and I actually okay. like Yumi a lot yeah, so as, Jinx like, a... Jinx is, is probably utility. worse, yeah, yeah, Jinx is worse, but... If you have GA on Jinx, if you have, like, carry. Deathblade, IE, stuff like that, you need a, a lot of swords, but she can kind of work. Okay. And after I played that two-star Jinx, and she just instantly died all the time, then I was That's like, I'm... That's GA, you always need GA. <laughs> yeah, I think I had GA on her, but, uh, it wasn't enough. Yeah. But yeah, Tom Kench, definitely, definitely up here, like better than, so like these were, like these are the best. And then if you have like uh, GA on him, it's really good, because he can like, yeah, while he still dead. eats in his, yeah. Then I really like, this is a personal thing, I like Gunblade, because he can heal himself and others, and while he's eating, he gets 30% damage Re resistance, not reduced 40, damage, 30. yeah. So it's still really okay. good. So he can yep. reduce damage, he's healing up, then once it ends, he, he eats something else, rinse and repeat. And then maybe like mm -hmm. a, a blue buff or some sort of damage reduction or like it like for mm -hmm. him it really like QSS it really doesn't matter on Tom Kench because mm -hmm. you can get so like, Thieves Gloves is good on Tom Kench because he's good with anything then right yeah, like he's good get, with AP AD. I mean, you can give him extra AP you can give him extra HP you can give him extra resistances extra armor whatever he needs so you just like yeah. you feed him whatever is good in the in the lobby mm -hmm. and then after all of this I think it's like Fiora yeah. she's really strong. Uh, Fiora, Jin, I think they're like they're really close, and then I would say it's it's Urgot and Yone. Okay. And somewhere around as far there as, is yeah, but, Jinx. as far as as far as ca carries go. Yeah. As, like, All as, right. Like, so this is like this is like legendary carries. Obviously, it's backline Jace. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. This is like yeah with those and items. And this is like four cost carries. So let's just let's just put Jinx with the four cost carries. That that's that's appropriate. Yeah. She's probably not okay, as so strong as Jin or Fiora, but like two tier. Maybe, maybe it's stronger than. Then Urgot or Yone. Yeah. Maybe sometimes not even that. Like, she's a four cost, essentially. Okay. And then it's like, you can either accept my tier list, or you can actually think about yourself. Because it changes. Yeah, well, I mean, every, it also changes, it changes yeah. by patch, and it yeah. changes based on what augments you have. But like, exactly. Um, yeah, like, I, I mean, I would never would have, like, the, the innovator um, pivot, like, or not not even pivot, the innovator yeah, non pivot, pivot. I'm, like, like really upset that I didn't see it. Have, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, the innovator not pivot. I'm upset I didn't see <laughs> the Kali thing. I don't think I can re like expect myself to see that because, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's uh, but like, if you're rolling, yeah. you should be picking up legendaries. If you're rolling, you should be picking up any legendaries, right? Um, well, any any decent legendaries, right? Like, can I skip Victor now? <laughs> Ah, uh, Victor can probably escape, yeah. And I know, like, maybe even Jinx, too. Like, I don't... Like, unless you have, like, those swords and items for her. That is complete garbage. That is the biggest bait ever. That does absolutely nothing. Yeah, I, I, re I realized that afterwards. I was like, uh, I mean, I hate Ancient Archives because it's like you, you buy another, like, roll. Um, and I realized after it should have been Knife's Edge. Um, if I was going for Urgot especially, but I, I guess I was like... Yeah, I don't know. I was between those I mean, two, and I was like, uh. You can go for like, you can go for GA. Last, like you have Runans as well if you want it. Like Runans, Last Whisper, GA. 
which means Ergo mm. doesn't do much damage. So you put him, you give him Knife's Edge, and he does more damage. Right? Yeah. Then yeah. Like... The, I realized the, the Knife's Edge one. I realized even within the game, I was like, ah, fuck. Like I didn't. Okay. So I put that less in. garbage, more good shit. Like you don't need fucking Warwick. Mm -hmm. You don't need fucking Leona. It would be better if you're holding Akali on the bench, if you're holding Fiora on the bench, if you're holding Jin on the bench. Because, like, mm -hmm. why are you committed to Urgot already? Why are you not holding Fioras and Jin's and Akali's on the bench? Because you don't know what you're going to do first. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I do end up holding a, a Jin later, and actually... <laughs> well, you'll see. I won't well, you have, spoil you it. You a Jin earlier, which you sold at some point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there was the one Jin, yeah. And you're just, like, chilling with this. With, like... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna. Like, I think I'm, I think I lose now. Like, which obviously, like my my board hasn't changed, or hasn't increased in strength since like stage three. At least play like Fiora and Warwick, for example, or something. Instead of the Ezreal, like you need damage. Like, I think Fiora, one of these items, is better than Ezreal one, because her ulti is okay, disgusting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ezreal too. Okay, yeah, and especially if I take if I, if I take a knife edge and then I put in a Fiora. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Um, you shouldn't have fucking rolled here. I don't understand why you rolled here. Cause like you could have just gone nine, no? Just it's a fast nine game. It's a legendary. I, I guess game. I felt like I, I I felt like my board was was weak and I needed to like stabilize somehow. But then, but yeah, can't you just nine. lose like all of the, like all of stage four and five and still be at like thirty HP? Not sure. I guess I I, I guess I can't gauge that. So like, how much HP do you think you lose per round if you fuck up? Uh, depends on depends on how badly I lose, but I guess in stage five it can be like up to twenty. In stage four, like I'd say stage four, it's around top top end fifteen. Yeah, stage five, top end twenty. But those are like mm -hmm. horrible losses, which you shouldn't be getting horrible losses. So like, I would say like fifteen times seven. Oh shit. Okay, that's one hundred and five. Okay, but just like chill because you're winning a lot still so i would just chill and like try to go nine or like at least consider it yeah so yeah and then I lose against comp, so you lose yeah he has a seraphine too he has a comp yeah exactly yeah no, and then I, I realized that i've said so like the whole time you're saying stay flexible Stay flexible, and then yeah. you're like, fuck all that, like, just- Well, then, the, then the, the, the last dog, the last dog meant, I'm like, well, okay, now I, now I have to commit to something, right? But then, but Chemtech Explosion, what is Chemtech Explosion good? Uh, if you have, like, three star, like, if you have lots of three star, or, like, super yeah. high health Chemtech. So, like, reroll comps, or, like, early yeah. game? It's really yeah. good then. Yeah, I was that was that was so bad. That was so bad. Really I don't think it would have. I don't think. I, I don't think that on its own necessarily made the difference. But then, like all, all, all these things combined, or just like not thinking about things in the right way, like because like I can't like evaluating board strength. It kind of comes back to that of like what's stronger, and I'm like I have to use my brain to figure that out, and then my brain doesn't always work. So what the fuck are you doing here? Shouldn't you sell the Zillion, the Ezreal? The Singe, the Ziggs, put these shit, these sh these units in and start rolling. Um, like, during, during, yeah, probably during chickens. I should have just sacked my econ and just rolled anyways. Like, um, roll, I think roll, I, like, I, I. I mean, considering how much HP, like you're either going nine, that's a valid option. Decide to go nine, mm -hmm. or like at least sell this shit and roll to fifty. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need Ezreal too. You don't need mm -hmm. Ziggs too. You don't need Singe too for sure. You don't need uh, Zillion. Just put in these units instead. Like put in the two Urgots, put in whatever, put in two Mundos. If you want, put in the Warwick. Or like buy the Gangplank so you have a... Twin so shot, yeah. Twin shot. And it's just like, you have this shit. So it's like you have way too much to do next round. Which you're probably gonna fuck up. Yeah. I would fuck it up. Oh yeah. So, I, But I know I would fuck it up, that's why I would start preemptively doing stuff now. Look at that, two Star Leona, one gold wasted. So like, sell all this so you don't get dizzy. This should be sold okay. already. Okay. Tom Kench. No. Okay. Like, what is this? Like, you? Why are you rolling? What? Nothing happened. You just lost thirty gold. Nothing really happened. 
Okay, so you say sell, yeah, sell the weak shit on the board. Sell no. the weak shit on the board <laughs> and start playing something. Yeah, well, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Exactly. What the fuck? Like, nothing changed. Yeah, make a redemption, sure, but like, you just spent 30 gold and nothing changed. You're still playing Ezreal and Ziggs. Yep. Of course you're gonna get shit on. Yep. So how long does it take for you to sell Ezreal and Ziggs? Oh, Seraphine, you can go back to Five Innovator. God, just play <laughs> fucking legendaries, no? You're playing one cost. <laughs> yeah. Just sell just put it on something. Yeah, yeah. Morello, Kaisa, hello! Best mm -hmm. pro holder in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the Warwick, play the fucking Warwick. Play the Warwick and Urgot. Like fuck it, like get rid of the Ezreal. Put Ezreal items on, on Urgot, play Warwick, uh play Kaisa, and you have at least, like, it's not good, but you have two Challenger and you have five Camp Tech. So less time, less, less, more time thinking, less time rolling, because I, you, I was kind of like, like yeah, I'm getting, I'm tunneled. You're rolling, you're just rolling for, <laughs> yeah, there we go. I guess it's yeah. I guess it's okay. I, I'm thinking about that blade rounds or like just make the make the BT. Yeah. You know, make the BT. Don't okay. First of all, I I, I had I was thinking I had um I had uh I can get an armor from the um from the carousel still to make a GA. Okay. okay. But then I think uh, Runan. No, no, I couldn't have made Runans as well because I had the thing. But why is he in the front row? You, you can't front row Urgot. He's not a tank. You yeah. <laughs> but it's like you spent. Four rounds pivoting into yep. this? When you could have just played five innovator, which would have been stronger already? Yep. And you're still playing this garbage in the back? Because you never picked yep. up Cassandra, for example? And you saw the Warwick and like. Akali? Just play a random Akali. So it's like, yeah, and then I'm realizing I can't fight on him, so I'm like, okay, at least I'm putting the armor shred next to the Urgot now, but like, yeah, I'm just too... Uh... I think, uh... I think, uh, you need to, like, actually concentrate a bit on your late game. Like, your early game was really good, but, like, your late game is atrocious, and, like, if you're doing this in Diamond... Yeah. If you're doing this in Diamond, you get complete Like, you're getting destroyed here in Plat. Yeah, exactly. By people... <laughs> you just did... Uh, what, what the fuck? Like... Uh, so it's like, you could have maybe had a Kali too. You could have, like, had so much better stuff. Like, Kai'Sa using the, the Morello instead of Zillion, which does nothing. You pick up... You pick up a two cost armor instead of a four cost armor. Um, I think I wanted the. What did I want the bow for? Yeah, I guess it just just. A uh, dumb one again. So you want the hurricane? Okay. No, like I said, I could have had the hurricane too, but I didn't end up getting the hurricane. Like I could have made it. I could have made one, but I didn't have a. Do you need do you need two sparks? Isn't Deathcap way better on Mundo? Is Deathcap better on Mundo? I thought it was just the the damage, but not the healing that scales with um, with AP. And the healing only scales with uh, health. I thought. Yeah, max health. Okay. Or unless I don't know, I don't see if it's a. But then he does percentage of his damage, and like these things scale, so he does like, he smacks pretty hard as well. Yeah, yeah, the dam dam damage scales, but I guess I didn't, I didn't think that it was... I mean, instead of two yeah, sparks, yeah. right? Yeah, well, I mean, I also needed the Morello still. Because I still didn't have any anti-heal. Oh, who? Like, who can hold Morello here? I was looking for, I'm looking for Lissandra. <laughs> yeah. 
But you had Lissandra on the show before. Yeah, which I missed, of course. Yeah. So basically, you sacked all of stage five anyway, and you just threw yep. away your gold. So my plan would have yep. been willingly sack the stage and have 100, and then going 120 nine. gold go yeah. nine. Yeah. So you're saying I don't want to lose the whole stage, but you do that and then anyway. I see anyways. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I didn't, I didn't know that I was going to lose the whole stage with it. I was like, okay, my board looks good now, right? And then I, but I, you know, evaluating board strength. But uh, just, uh, just five innovators, five innovators go nine yeah. and put in two star legendaries, go next. And yeah. So again, like this is like, Right now, looking at your board, it's like, oh my god, you had a, such a shit game. Like, what happened? Poor you. <laughs> but then yeah, and then you look at the, the like, early game the and you're like, you're like, oh my god, this is like the freest first ever. And you're not even making the, like, okay, so you're trying to three-star shit? Okay, good luck with that. You're not even picking up Tom Kench? Okay, you finally found Lissandra. Okay. Um, I don't know, like, now, like, how many more rounds you think you can live for? Okay, maybe, okay, you survive. Okay, no, you don't. So, like, now it's your last round. It's your last fucking round, so you better roll very quickly. <laughs> yeah, just roll! Just, yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. No, don't, don't pick up anything! Don't pick up anything else! Don't... Oh, just... Oh, and you're dead. Yep. Like, why are you buying this hack again? You sold this hack before. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. So yeah, bronze late game. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Like, make yourself fucking weaker. Just, it's like, make yourself weaker and waste a fuck ton of gold doing so. Yeah. How do you waste gold and get weaker at the same time? That that's amazing. <laughs> I could run a I could run a workshop on it. <laughs> hey, are your are you, is your TFT account too high elo for you to play with your friends? Here, <laughs> let me tell you how you can <laughs> just get to eight at one hundred HP and then like pretend you're getting stronger, but actually sneakily always get weaker. Yeah. Wait, so you actually didn't win a round after this? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think so. Okay, just so 15, 15 win streak and then and then 10 loss streak. Or no, uh, 8 loss streak because I didn't survive this round. Wow. Let's go. That's, that's <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that impressive? That is very impressive. <laughs> I, I would prefer the 8 loss streak into 15 win streak. Oh, yeah. I mean, that that, that sounds like a great Merc game. Yeah. All right. So, so me, me, you know, me, 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 memeing about how bad it was great. Main takeaways on it. So, like... Because I'm t like to, to to learn how to not do it. Because there's still like a lot of things. That, obviously, a lot of like possibilities I missed. Which I mean, great. I'm probably gonna miss continue missing pos pro possibilities. So, okay. Easiest. The idea of having tier list beforehand is is a good is a good idea because then I can like always be yeah. looking for like carries even if it doesn't really fit the comp. But it's like well, then I can fit the board to the comp, especially if I have items, especially if I have um the scrap thingy or not the the. the Whatever the one that breaks things apart, salvage bin. So looking for carriers. Uh, easiest mm -hmm. fucking continuation of the board, which is three innovative to five innovative. That's like the easiest fucking continuation. If I hit that, uh. I'm just continuing with that. Picking up every fucking legendary. You two star a legendary, you just play it. There's like you you're never playing like once you start rolling on eight, you're never playing one cost and ideally no two cost either. Mm-hmm. Like once you start rolling, especially like here, like you're playing, you're playing way too many one cost for way too long. Mm -hmm. And then you're still playing a two cost, like one star zillion. Like what is he even doing there? Like these units, like, yeah. yes, Vi is there for bruiser. Like, okay, wait, you have three bruiser. So no, like Vi is there for enforcer. So it's like, look at your comp, the comp that you actually have and think about the easiest pivot. But you, okay. can do that, you can do that beforehand. So like, if I'm playing, uh, no, no, sorry, if I'm playing innovators, mm -hmm. right? So what do innovators go into? Well, you go from three to five 
and maybe to seven. Right? Mm -hmm. Or you go from three yep. to five, hopefully to fast nine, and then uh, that from there you can go with two star legendaries. Mm -hmm. you either, like these are two steps. That's like always easiest option. Always, always easiest. Okay. Okay. I guess I've been like maybe I'm also sometimes overthinking it. I'm just like, oh, but like you know I have these items. Blah, 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 like all oh, this pivot. I need, I need to pivot because if I'm not pivoting, then I'm just like adding things to my board. But like, yeah, I mean, if it, if it, if adding things to my board is able to make it stronger and I can make a late game board, board that includes shit, the early the thing. Easiest, yeah. the easiest route, right? I mean, c c clearly from this game, like, going the easiest route is necessary. So uh, yeah, so that, is, that, that that's a good the strategy. Next thing if you're going innovators, the next easiest thing. Uh... Or like, what can you like? So that the the pivot is actually kind of easy. Like what is one unit you Jin? can place here? Yeah, so you just you just, just take that as well as Jin. As to Jin, mm -hmm. and then you have like then you have the Jin with with uh, Clockwork, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then or you can just play Jin Innovators, or you can like like kind of pivot that. Mm -hmm. So those, those are like the easiest things if you're playing Innovators. And then if you can get to eight, then you know that Akali is the best. Strongest. So you're always looking for a colleague. Kaisa. Kaisa is still relatively strong. Mm -hmm. Right? And then it's like, yeah, random, random Tom Kench. Um, what was that? Random Jinx, maybe. And then, like, you're obviously picking up, like, Yumi's and that stuff as well. Probably not Victor. Yeah, I mean, I got baited by that. Uh, oh, yeah, Once, sorry. never always again. Always Jace. Always Jace. Jace is really strong. Yeah. Jace, backline. I love Jace as a unit. It's so flex. It's it's, it's also flexible. Well. Like I can also put him, I can put him front line too, though, right? Like yeah. not in this, maybe not in this situation because I had a bruiser front line yeah. could have maybe held. But yeah. so like that's the next next best thing. So it's like the comps are always legendaries, and then only then is it ever four costs. Mm -hmm. Like you should never think like I'm gonna skip on this Akali to two star mm -hmm. my Urgot. It's always legendaries first. I mean, if, if the game is at least reasonably balanced, legendaries are always better than than forecasts. Mm -hmm. So that if you're going for Akali or Jace or Kaisa, and like one one star legendaries already, right? Like if I if I get a le if I get like a bunch of one star legendaries, I just like replace a bunch of stuff with random legendaries, and I it's mean, still gonna be stronger than one star this legendaries right? are always better than than one cost and two. Yeah, costs. yeah. yeah. Like I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't play uh, a Tom Kench over Zach, for example. That's close. Tom Kench over Zach too. That's close. Yeah, but then uh, all the one cost in the back. Yeah. But like Jace in the back over Ezreal, yes. Mm -hmm. Or like Akali with with like the items if you break them apart, like the G A I E and the Death Cap. Yeah. And then four costs. Yeah, I mean Urgot carry is not even that strong. Like you had Kaisa Fiora, which is way stronger, because like if you go. Kaisa, Fiora, Jace, yeah. you already have Challenger and Enforcer. Mm -hmm. And then you can add in. Just three units, and then I can splash in stuff that helps them, like, I don't know, like Clockwork, or whatever, give Kaisa some more damage and more, some more attack speed. Um, I would just say more frontline, right? Like, okay. you can play the Bruisers. There's nothing wrong with playing, playing Bruisers. Mm -hmm. But it's like, whenever you're in a position, like, whenever you're this much ahead, just go for legendaries. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you watch, I mean, yes, my Smurfing series is, is in check, but if you watch any of those games, like the games, I don't do something stupid like go for Arcanist, which is pointless. If I just go for eight and nine and play play Akali, or I play Kaisa, like last patch I played a lot of Kaisa, because I could just out econ the the lobby and then just get strong late, because I know that like legendaries mm -hmm. are really strong, or even like mm -hmm. Tom Kench is really good. Because he can eat a lot of, like, if you get an early Tom Kench, he eats a lot of stuff. Like, you missed, you missed yeah, Tom Kench. Yeah, especially if you're, especially if you're scouting and you yeah. can, like, position it in front of the important tanks, yeah. Like, you were trying to two-star Urgot and not trying to two-star Akali. Yeah. It just blows my mind. Like, yes, you're more likely to hit the Urgot, but if you hit the Akali, that's, it's a free first. Yeah, and I had enough health to sack rounds. I mean, I sack rounds anyways, so, like, I could have sacked those rounds. So, like, yeah, well, level if, you, if you leveled to, to nine here... 
Yeah. And then you I'm roll, at 23 HP, but then I had to lose another game, yeah. Then you roll for for full full legendaries. As we discussed, yep. like you can sack all those all those rounds and you play full legendaries. And then mm -hmm. last thing here, like you need to fucking roll way more here. You're on yep. your last life. Yeah, yeah, I'm, and I'm buying random shit instead, yeah. And it's like, you need to hit Jace 2, uh, Urgot 3, or Mundo 3. And you're mm -hmm. just like, getting, like, buying random shit. Like, no, there's no time to do that. Like, yes, this little, mm -hmm. these effectivity tricks are good, but you cannot be doing these little effectivity tricks, like, with 30 seconds and one life. Yeah. I mean, apart from that, the game, like, the game was really good. It's just like... Your your late game understanding is is horrible, so just like, I know, <laughs> yeah. Just you gotta focus on that a bit more. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the the recap tips. Yeah, selling the weak shit on the board, then putting putting s those items on something like even a even a one cost uh, a one star four cost, buying legendaries, looking for easiest pivots, having kind of the mental tier list. Yeah, but easy like here the. It was just five innovator, which I just still can't understand that you didn't go five innovator once you hit the chase. Yeah, me neither, because I love innovators, but like maybe it's because I like I play it, I, I force it too much, or I play it too much, and I'm like oh, I need to be more flexible, I need to be more flexible. Wait, what, what, what did I just do? I don't want this debug. What the? F <laughs> buffer health, buffer health. It's loading, it's loading. Yeah, so that's like yeah, just I like, keep it simple, stupid. It's like the, the easiest, uh, like this, yeah. I like kiss, kiss which, cool, yeah. which we learned yeah. in, in marketing. Yeah, I mean, uh, just keep it simple. Wait, what? It's supposed to, be, yeah, whatever. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not only marketing. It's uh, I, I've I've heard it too. Yeah. We're just yeah. So like, don't do anything difficult. Anything that can confuse yeah. you, just ignore it. But most things can confuse me in TFT. That's the problem. But like you know, trying to find the least confusing option is uh, and having, I think that yeah, the mental tier list thing is good because like, I get I, I get worried when I have too many possibilities in my head. But if I have them in order, like okay, the best case scenario is that I go innovators five, uh, and then and maybe I can pivot to like an Akali because Akali is always strong. Yeah. And then after that, maybe I go Jin, and then after that, maybe I go Oregon. Yeah, but it's like here, easiest thing to do, sell this shit in the back. Just sell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're done with it. It can no longer confuse you. Just get rid of it. Don't buy the singe. Sell this garbage. And put in the Urgot. Mm -hmm. And put in like, even the Warwick. Like, exact You even had the Leona, which upgraded. Which you had to sell. You lost one gold. So just like mm -hmm. put in the stuff you want to play. That's what, mm -hmm. the, what the PvE rounds are for. Mm -hmm. You put in the stuff you want to play. On the PvE round. So that after the PvE round, you're just trying to upgrade... And like you're missing, like for example, you're missing uh, Trundle. If you're not picking up Trundle or or Tom Kench, you're never going to for for Bruiser. Mm -hmm. And you're not picking up Twitch Shot. I don't think you had Twitch Shot the whole time, did you? Or you like eventually put it? No, in I, I, I knew I was. I knew I should look for it, but like I mean, I I, I can when it's not glowing like that, I'm gonna miss it. So I need like uh, no. Yeah. I knew I need to look for it though. Like I knew I needed a, a Twin Shot for Urgot. So like this board doesn't say I dominated the early game at all. Oh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> Which like you need your board to reflect like I destroyed the lobby. My board should kind of show that. It's so, like this is a fine board if like you ha you struggled throughout the early and mid game and somehow you put this together. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's like you scrap you scrape into top, uh, if you low world uh, early game and you scrape into top three by one HP or That's two great. HP, which yeah. it was like it was like negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. Like this could have been a fifth. That was yeah, how bad the late game. That would have been completely in, in platinum. Yeah, look, look, negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. It was that close. Like That's how bad it was. <laughs> yeah. So like simplest pivots, make your tier list, have your like strongest units that you want to play. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Well, um, thanks for uh, thanks for reviewing the game. I think yeah, it was it was a great game to review. It was like all of the typical mistakes. It was perfect. Yeah, you loved it. Up. So with this, hopefully, you get to D two by Wednesday. I think you need right. Oh, for, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll play I'll play one more game of my Smurf, and then I'll I'll see if it goes well. Then I'll uh, I'll, I'll go in my uh, my main again. Like, but before that, make make your chill. It's like think about like think about the compositions, think about the units, and like actually think about before the game. 
Because it doesn't that like influence in the like I was thinking of like having the tier list in my mind like during the game, kind of like continuing to like kind of update it in my head or like thinking about like who I can go to from here. Because there's like a static tier list, like it changes as much with augments and with items. No, it does. But knowing that Akali is the best is kind of good to know. Like Akali is the best for me. Like that's what I think. So if I can play Akali, yeah. I will play Akali. So like knowing like okay if I can't play what I, what I find really strong Fiora is really good I think Akali is the best five cost Fiora is the best four cost so I try to play mm. I try to play whatever opener I have into Fiora and then into Akali if I'm not fucking sidetracked into uh, Arcanist for some reason like a dumbass I hate Arcanist yeah I hate Arcanist then always a fucking babe don't go Arcanist yeah yeah I went I went Arcanist a couple times in my Smurf because I was like well we'll see oh no I, I went once in my uh, I got baited into it in my main once too and then I tried again my Smurf and I got destroyed there and I'm like I, I always play Arcanist and I regret it I, I, I don't like them I, I think they're like the power curve is different and it's just frustrating so yeah yeah okay. all right well I'll think okay. about it but uh young butterfly fly into the world you got this <laughs> I'll see I'll let you know how it goes yeah, keep me posted I'm sure everyone is also interested in chat, so I'll, I'll keep them updated as well. Or you can just drop by and let us know how things are going. Yeah. The, uh, someone, someone commenting something about big brain. Yeah, I mean that applies to the entire the entire late game, right? Yeah, the entire late game. Like, big, <laughs> yeah, brain, like... big brain moves, make yourself weaker. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you around. Thanks. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good afternoon. Bye.